What's up, peeps, and welcome back to Sorel Plays. I'm back with another decorating tip video. Um, this one's about doing skylight designs. Um, I have found this the perfect opportunity to do this, as the Russian walls that we have are the cathedral-style um, domes and, you know, the patterns on the walls. So I thought I should take this opportunity to show you a way of doing it. I'm no expert in these Scarlet designs. I do keep trying different ways. I haven't found one I'm completely happy with, but to start off with, and for you to be able to start to explore in doing this, if you do like those designs, is to make a space for yourself, count the squares. This does need to be asymmetrical. Of course, the design and decor that you put on top doesn't need to be, but the walls ideally should be. So what I'm doing here is I'm marking out the levels in the midsection here. Now you can make more space and go higher or lower, but the good thing about this thing is that you can just move stuff around as you go along so that if you do feel like you've made a mistake, it's not really a mistake and you can always rectify it by moving stuff around. It's a lot of messing about, um, it's quite fiddly, and whatever else but once you get your layout out like I'm doing in this first section here so the mid walls are up and then we've got a single walls at the end of our space adjacent to which you can measure by placing the block close by and then kind of sliding it down staying within that line of blocks um, and do the same thing on the left side as well until you come up with a squarish structure now this can be a narrower structure, it can be wider, it could even be a building with a point in the middle and the same alternating blocks going all the way around it. You can do it however you want and that's what I love about this design, that it's a, a free design, you can absolutely do whatever you like on this. So we've placed our blocks, which are our foundation blocks and we're ready to put some windows down. Now you can use windows or you can use walls on this. Um, like I said, there is no rules about this and also you can't really make mistakes on it. So as long as you've got kind of a equivalent amount of walls left and right, which you will have walls and windows, once you've placed your foundation bricks, then you know kind of how many spaces there is in between. You won't have to keep counting them. So that's fundamentally what's the most important thing at the beginning of this design process so we started putting our windows in and by the end of this uh, first section you'll see that nothing much has changed you can't really see any leveling going on because the floor's all the same color and we've kind of just placed some windows in the middle of a square type of thing sorry i'm just drinking some ginger tea um i have had a sinus infection for the past week and then on top of that I ended up with some sort of bacterial flu or whatever else is going around viruses um, I've had it all so yeah the problem with uh, trying to get videos done with the croaky voice and lots of coughing in between so it's kind of stopped me doing any videos for the whole week but here I am so we have put the windows so we've kind of sectioned them off and then we're just going to start building up on those win windows by putting some in between the levels we've already created now this is when you're going to start getting the skylight effect so what we mean by that is basically a building that is quite high rise uh sort of like a a tower and you can manipulate this building in any way you want to achieve the desired look whichever look it is you're going for so the next thing we're doing is adding more walls and more windows you're basically doing that all the way through um, where you see there's um, gaps where you can see the floor you can fill those right up with windows you can bring them closer together, you can spread them out to the sides, you can spread them upwards making space elsewhere if you want your building to be really high. 
Um, I will be doing another video on the highest building I can actually get. So I'm going to challenge myself on that one um, with an empty layout. I'll actually start that one just after this video and see how far I can go with the Skylet design. The only thing is, it's going to cost me a lot of money. And at this point, I am level 69 going on 70. And that means I need a new stove which is going to be most of the money I've got here. And we do have new decorations coming in soon. Um, we don't know what they are yet, but we've got the... Um, God, I've forgotten what it's called now. Is it the Eat Green event? Last year we had the... Um, I think it's the Think Green event. So depending on that, I'm guessing it's going to be outdoorsy Easter type decorations to look forward to. So that will be... A real good one for me because I do love the outdoors and gardens is my thing. So I think uh, there's going to be not many buildings in the next uh, design that I do if I can help it. Although you do kind of feel a bit like, oh God, there's too much uh, garden going on. But anyway, so do keep checking your design. Zoom out, go in photo mode. Photo mode helps you because there isn't so many things moving around, you know. Everything's kind of still because it's a picture. Um, it will help you to detract from all the distractions around you while you are doing this. Everything's moving around so quickly and you're just trying to see whether everything's asymmetrical and whatever else. Now, on this design, you really need to make sure that you're looking into your background as well, especially where your tower ends at the top. So I'm removing some of the obstacles around here and walls in particular. They will stop you getting the high rise effect if you keep, for, a, for example, those domes that I had, the gold domes. Because it will just make it look like it's the building in a distance, whereas we need this to look like it's raising upwards. Now, that is quite difficult to do. So you have to put lower items around the top of your building so if you can start this without you know having a blank canvas and start this without anything else around your building it is ideal to do that so that would be a little tip from me um so we're just working on now what we're gonna you know what, what do we want to achieve with this maybe put a few more domes in the sides and going for the cathedral design with the Russian walls, I think it would be a shame not to. So more domes it is. Um, you know, this blank space at the front again, we need to put windows in there to increase our tower effect. So I'm going to be working on that in a minute. I'm just trying to get these walls straight left and right and also kind of have, you know, like we did with the steps the step effect on the side a little bit so that you it does actually look like it's graduating up instead of just one big square. Um, that's when, you know, the illusion won't be so believable because you just got a square building. So that's something you need to concentrate on here, too. So you're going to be putting windows away a lot. You're going to be taking them out, swapping them around. If you haven't bought them yet, it's a good time to do so because these Russian walls and windows are the perfect, perfect design to incorporate into this design. And I dare say you will regret it if you don't buy these walls um, before they run out. So let's just place a few more domes here and there. And you'll see that once you put a few more domes in, you start to get that cathedral look a little bit. And it's all about layering your building bit by bit, you know, checking it and layering it as you go along. So let's sort out these walls on the sides. Take out this window so that we can bring this wall in slightly for the step effect. And put away some of these flat top walls and get some of the domes out for the edges. Um, putting domes in the edges always gives you the illusion that it's higher than it is. As you can see with the step effect, the domes behind look like they're raising upwards. You could make that even better by using incorporating the step effect and the skylet design effect together 
to end up with a masterpiece for this skylet design. So that's what I'm going to aim for in the next video. This is just to start you off how to lay your foundations um, and basically layering up as you go along and kind of leaving behind that panic of what if I make a mistake I mean if you buy too many windows buy too many walls they'll always be useful later on so don't kick yourself about that I've spent a hell of a lot of money on this one I think I've spent about 80 90 thousand um, just on the Russian walls and the windows but I, I do see that they're going to be useful for other designs as well they're very detailed they're beautiful so I don't regret that one bit you can always make money again. If you haven't seen my money making video, do go back and have a look at that one because a lot of people have said how they've found it easier to buy their stoves and actually enjoy the decorations to the fullest when they do arrive. Whereas worrying about spending money like they did before and not buying any decorations, which means you're going to miss out and you don't know whether they'll be back in next year. So... Here we are, we have layered a few more of these windows. I do need to sort out that right side. I just kind of get carried away and end up doing other things. But I will be doing that later on and show you a picture at the end. Let's just get this top part sorted out. Move these domes around a little bit more. That's just a straight line of windows that need to go in. And I do want to talk about what sort of accessories you can add to this from previous event decorations and you know just don't be afraid to explore with this one because you can just do what you want I mean you can layer walls kind of walls and windows back to back here so that you've got a wall with windows on it I think that looks rather nice so it's coming along nicely now we do need to concentrate on this tower effect at the top here some of these flat walls aren't quite doing it you could just use dome walls all the way through if you have um, bought more of the dome walls then no problem you can do that if you haven't then definitely go for it now before they run out we don't get a lot of dome walls um, with the decorations like the Indian walls I really regretted not buying enough of those and the second time round I managed to buy loads so very happy about that decision so just add domes wherever you want to the left, to the right, to the front, you know, the front of the building as well. I mean, I've got water down there, but, you know, you could continue your domes out and have a walkway, put some arches down. You can do absolutely whatever you want with this, this design. You can incorporate steps into it so that everyone can walk up the steps. You can put your stations in there. You can put functionals in there if you're particularly... Uh, you know mindful about hiding your functionals they could go behind some walls if you'd rather use walls for your uh, tower than windows I do love the windows though so on the front here we're just going to add a little bit of detail these could look like their um, arches into the palace you know you could put doors on there people could actually walk in of course I don't have enough space at the front here because this was kind of an afterthought for a video just before the Russian stuff ends um, to give you a little bit of inspiration on what you could do with the Russian stuff if you haven't bought any yet and I think that's coming along really nicely um, so concentrating on the background as well we do need to move some of this stuff because it's kind of overcrowding you know the towers at the back and these some of these uh, dome walls do need to be lifted up a little bit because they're looking rather flat so it kind of looks like it's going downwards instead of up so moving these towers up will definitely give that effect on the eye as you can see this red one's kind of sinking in because I've only got one space either side to put it so these domes do need to spread out a little bit more so that they'll look higher like this front bit does so you could do the same shape at the front incorporate that at the back as well that will definitely do something for you it's all about whatever you like and as you're doing it you kind of see what needs to be done you know and then kind of act on it as you're doing it now I wanted to talk about floor as well of course we've got the plain green safari floor under here at the moment so it's not doing much for the effect 
and the lounge floor is the only one with lights on it at the moment. I do hope Super Solid give us some more floor with lights on um, because I find that very useful for illuminating buildings like it's going to do for this one here. You can stagger this, you can um, alternate it with dark floor, red floor, you know, whatever you like, black floor, white floor, you can do anything you want. Just adding a little bit of interest beyond those windows. Um, because they're windows, we kind of get away with that. If they were walls, you wouldn't be able to see behind them, so you'd have to put stuff on the front of it to add the interest. But here we will be using the floor to help us do that. And you can see here, with the lounge floor going in, it does give you the illumination that you need on this building. I mean, this is a focal point. I'm not using it for anything in particular um, that's going to be useful. I'm not storing anything in there. No one's really going to be walking in there. It's just going to be a focal point for my restaurant. So you could do the whole floor like that. I'll show you that in a sec. You could alternate it. Also, we could put a different colour floor in the front to kind of highlight this a little bit. We'll go for the snow floor. I mean, Russia's cold. Snow and Russia. It's perfectly fine together. Good old battery low again. So you can see that it defines the area and it lifts up the whole structure and kind of gets away from that too much red with the windows if you like this would look awesome with white windows as well really icy so you can see that's coming along really really nicely now i'm liking that I'll take a picture of that it helps to go back and look at your pictures as well if you store them on your phone then you can have a look at it while you're not on the game and distracted by anything and you'd realise that, oh, I need to change this or I'm not quite liking that or I could add this to make this nicer. Everything that you want to do. Um, lower walls at the front always helps to make the whole structure look like it's higher. So think about your levelling with furniture and decorations. We can add some trees. If you've got some of them tall palm trees, I've used them all at the back here, but, you know, just to show you that it could look good anywhere in this uh, design. It kind of does look a bit Moroccan-ish, so um, I'm not going to go for those ones, and I don't want to spend any more money either, but you could definitely do that if you wanted to. I'm just going to pop some lights in here because I do feel like the illumination aspect is what I'm after here. So wherever I can get a few lights in, I'm going to go for that. Pop them in here and there. And a few at the back where the dark floor is, it would definitely highlight the back as well and kind of make it look part of the front structure as well. So I've tweaked that round a little bit. And I've put all my lights in. I'm really loving that. I've put a functional at the front, which just kind of pops its head up. Um, the green hand Halloween functional. I'm loving that. And I'm really liking how this has turned out. And you can see the uh, outline of the lights at the back. Although I do need to move these domes up a little bit. I will work on that after I've finished this video a little bit more. Just spread it out a little bit more. And then fill in the floor mess about with it until it gets to the point where it does look like it's a building that rises up so if you're short on space you might have to make your building a little bit narrower a little bit smaller to achieve the desired look so i'm going to post a picture of the finished look after i've tweaked it a little bit when the video is over and I'm going to also post a picture of the previous Skylark design that I had, which was a little bit of a narrower building. It was slightly different, um, but I will be doing another one. I might use the same uh, windows and blocks. I might not. I'll see about how I feel with that one. But do enjoy this. Have fun. Do buy these blocks because they are absolutely awesome. And I do think you're going to find them useful in the future. 
So have fun with that. Show me your designs on the lounge group. I'd be really happy to come over and come to your restaurant and have a look. Um, and that's it. I'm going to wrap this video up here and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Peace out.